Hey, this is Ali Sue. Welcome to Pharmacy Entrepreneur TV. If you are a past, present, and future pharmacist, and you want to create a business and life you love, this is the show for you. Today, I'm very excited to introduce Dr. Marina Book to you all. Dr. Book lives in New York. She is a registered doctor of pharmacy, health coach, nutritionist, clinical herbalist, and a lifelong learner of the healing arts. She uses her multidisciplinary background to educate and consult patients about the least invasive and most natural methods for healing the spirit, body, mind. When she is not studying, she likes to dance, paint, and tinker with various concoctions such as tea blends, meals, and DIY projects. Let's welcome Dr. Marina Book. Hi, Dr. Book. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so we would love to get to know you a bit more and what you're actually working on. So tell us, how did you get into pharmacy? Hi, uh, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure and honor. Uh, okay, so pharmacy, I guess it's quite a long story, but uh, I was always really good in all the sciences and math. And uh, my parents are both chemist biologists. And so when we came to America and it was time for me to choose um, a college and a major, they actually were the ones who told me to explore pharmacy. And, um, you know, I spoke with my guidance counselor and uh, I was interested in doing something with the sciences. Um, and I considered being a doctor, but I figured it was a very, very long and arduous journey. So I thought a pharmacist would be the perfect middle ground that would allow me to help people learn how to help my own family and my personal health um, because I would familiarize myself with all the medicines and um, ways to self-treat and things like that. So I thought it would be a really great option. And um, I explored different options when I had my rotations, like different avenues, pharmaceutical industry or retail or insurance companies. And so I found it a very versatile field. So I thought it would be, you know, a really interesting venue to go into. Hmm. So what did you gain or learn from this journey being in the pharmacy world? Uh, so I actually loved pharmacy school. You know, I love the learning process. I learned uh, a lot about the body, the human body, and how the drugs and the medications are actually working. I loved pharmacology, pharmacokinetics, all that stuff. You know, I lapped it all up and I enjoyed it. But uh, when it came time for me to actually choose the actual fields of my first job and came time to, to um, choose whether I'm going to go into a residency or a fellowship or do retail or anything else. That's when it kind of just started questioning what am I really aligned with this field and what my higher calling is and how can I be of service to people knowing what I know and with my gifts and my studies. Um, and that's when I kind of just had a crisis of faith. <laughs> and um, I just decided to first work in community retail setting um, and just to like kind of get my feet wet and figure out what I want to do from there. And then alongside of that journey, I started really educating myself on more natural and holistic ways of healthcare mm -hmm. um, that I could help my patients with when counseling one on one. And also I had my own personal health issues that I, I was dealing with. So uh, I really just looked into other avenues of how to supplement my knowledge and feel like I am offering the highest service to my patients and also self-educating in the process. So then I um, graduated the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and became a health coach and uh, wanted to start my own business then but I felt like I still don't know enough. So my next step was to complete a three-year clinical herbalism program here in New York. And so 
now that I did that, I felt like I was incorporating, you know, new pharmacy and old style apothecary with all the herbs and spices and food and lifestyle. So then I was ready to kind of start my own business. And Mm -hmm. I felt like I finally had the enough tools and enough knowledge, even though there's still so much more to learn. And, you know, I considered functional medicine and all these other fields, but you know, I decided that I know enough to help people so I can start now. And that's how I started my own business, Raw Fork. Wow. Yeah. So, (laughs) wow, that's an amazing story. So rawfork.com. Yeah. That's your current business. So if anybody wants to know, um, visit the link below. Then you'll be able to see all the work that Dr. Book is working on. So tell us a bit more how... Uh, what exactly you're doing. So uh, I started, I guess, you know, about four or five years ago, just like brewing the idea, um, what I want to do with my coaching or with my herbalism. And so I decided to create an online uh, website where I could put down like my blog and my thoughts and what I'm learning. And then I decided to do more in-depth research articles you know, because as a pharmacist, we learn to do clinical evidence-based medicine and unless it's proven, it doesn't work. So I just wanted to really have that available as a resource and combine the two backgrounds of like wholesome natural Mm -hmm. products to incorporate into our life, but also the evidence behind why it works. So I started um, writing all these research articles and then blog posts. And um, I actually, my most famous article is about uh, acupuncture points and acupressure points and how piercings may affect them. Mm. So that has been like my top article. Um, Mm. And it was really fun to just like create all these interesting topics that I was interested in. And, you know, apparently other people are also researching them. So um, I like being a reference uh, of sorts for people. And then when I started kind of establishing myself more as a consultant, I opened up a one-on-one coaching program so people can buy single sessions or uh, package sessions to have a health consultation with me. And so I, I do that both in person and online. But right now, considering the current, you know, social distancing and mm-hmm. quarantine, the, the in-person is no longer a viable option. So it's a good thing that I had the virtual practice set up. Mm. Um, And so, you know, a lot can be done just with like a Zoom meeting like this, a video Mm. meeting, just it's still one-on-one and it's still um, personable and it's still giving your attention to somebody that unfortunately a lot of healthcare practitioners don't have the time or means to do in their office. So I feel like I'm really helping fill in the gaps um, and I'm still qualified to do that with both of my backgrounds Mm -hmm. wow that's perfect yeah definitely I love the online world because it's it's (laughs) like I get to you know interview you right here even though we have the time difference but yeah and the oceans and the continent between us yeah (laughs) definitely a social distance between I mean (laughs) the core distance um So we have lots of pharmacy students or aspiring pharmacists watching this show. If you can tell us one thing, what advice would you give to them? So I would say while you're still in pharmacy school, really try to get internships even outside of pharmacy school, just to get down on what you really care about and what you want to specialize in. And unless you have the experience in different settings, it's very hard to discern like what's interesting to you, what are you good at, you know, and how to combine your talents. So uh, when I was exploring, you know, health coaching and herbalism, I actually was talking to different people and telling them, uh, asking for advice and telling them what my interests are. So I just got a recommendation by a mentor and then somebody who became a friend. Um, So like, just talk to people, see what's possible in all these different venues, get recommendations. And then another person just told me, hey, there's this local herb shop, you should go check it out. And it's kind of like an alternative apothecary, because Mm -hmm. I didn't want to give up pharmacy, I wanted Mm -hmm. to 
combine it with something that is of interest and of my passion. Mm. So, you know, that was a really good um, middle ground for me to not give up what I'm doing in pharmacy, but combine it with this whole world of herbs and old style apothecaries. So Mm -hmm. that's when I came to the shop, I just asked them, can you give me a free unpaid internship? And they said, yes. So just like being in the shop, I learned so much, you know, and that's what gave me then the idea to learn it more formally. So I think just keep trying and just keep asking, take initiative. If you want to do something, you go and you ask for it. Nobody's going to really hand it to you. So if you just arm yourself with, um, you know, asking and taking initiative and actually going to experience those things, then you will get a better idea of whether or not you like it and if it's a good fit for you. That's amazing. That is awesome. Yeah. I um, currently practice part-time in the Chinese medicine um, clinic as well, uh, well, as well as working in the pharmacy. It's definitely a great um, idea to go out and initiative that's right to start now ask people um yeah thank you so much dr book for sharing us yeah um with you know your world with us today um so if we want to connect with you on social media where can we find you so i'm really on all the platforms i'm on facebook i'm on instagram just uh search for raw pork and you'll find me I uh, also have my own website, www.rawfork.com. And I have a similar podcast as what you're doing, where I interview other pharmacists that are integrating some kind of unique uh, practice in their business model. So whether it's functional medicine or different kind of holistic or integrative avenues, that's kind of my specialty, seeking out those pharmacists and getting to know about how they got into it and um, inspiring other pharmacy students to do the same. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, highly recommend everybody to check it out. I was so inspired listening to all of these pharmacists doing wonderful things in different aspects, different modalities and different therapies, incorporating their pharmacy knowledge and pharmacy experience. So thank you again, Dr. Book. Um, Thank you for having me. Yay, thank you. So thank you for watching Pharmapreneurs. Remember, the world needs more Pharmapreneurs. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.